In a nutshell, collaboration with the private sector is a key part of FAO strategy. And in, the, in re recognizing that, the organization has done two things, has uh, developed a strategy of how to work with the private sector, but in addition, organizes these annual fora where there is a direct uh, interaction and dialogue with the private sector on modalities of, of, of working. Already for a few years, we have, during the Committee on Food Security uh, sessions, we have a very big meeting with the private sector. Uh, every year, we have more demand to participate in that meeting, and we have bigger representation of different kinds of private sector entities who want to be there. They want to be there, they want to be present, they want to understand what's going on with FAO, and they also want to ensure that they can also make their own contribution to the development agenda that FAO is proposing. First of all, I would like to say that we are very happy to work with FAO. I think it's a great partnership. Our objective together with the FAO is uh, really what we always say, we need to feed 9 billion people in 2050. Uh, so uh, if you think about it, it has to come also not only from the big producers, but also from the small producers. So our working with the FAO is how can we help each other to make smallholders successful. And the experience of Rabobank, especially Rabobank Foundation, is that if you work as a partnership with institutions, uh, with the private sector, with banks like ourselves, and you organize the whole value chain, that's the moment that you are successful. Well, there have been a number of thrilling announcements, including this week, about very positive partnerships and the presence of so many private sector actors here during the week of the UN Committee on Food Security and during the meeting with the Director General is proof positive about how much opportunity there is, enthusiasm and excitement around partnering. Well, FAO has incredible expertise here in the building in Rome and throughout the network right around the world. But private sector also has expertise, and so those are very complementary. In addition, the private sector drives livelihoods. The majority of the world are either private sector smallholder farmers or farmers of any kind, or also um, companies that employ people in the agriculture sector, whether it be through processing, value addition in other formats, or all the way through to retailing. So the ability to actually support the incomes that break the poverty cycle, that are part of the family nutrition cycle, is really a great impact that the private sector can have that FAO alone can't have. The new development agenda, 2030 development agenda just approved this year, actually gives no option. The development model in the future is about partnering. Development goals cannot be reached without partners and without the adequate partners. And so I would say that FAO is a little bit ahead of the game in this sense, because with our uh, strategy for partnering with the private sector, we have been calling for private sector participation in reaching FAO's goals already for some time. Well, the work that FAO has been conducting over the past uh, 10 years when it comes to rural and agricultural finance has over time collected quite a bit of evidence regarding of a mismatch that there seems to be between the development of the agricultural industry in developing countries and the engagement that the financial sector has had in, in agriculture. And what we're finding is uh, quite a bit of evidence that um, the rise in activity in the agricultural sector in terms of investments, in terms of the prices for agricultural goods that are, have been a, a strong incentive for the private sector to seize investment opportunities has not been accompanied in the same pace by formal financial institutions. And it actually has been 
actors outside of the financial sector who have been providing financial solutions um, uh, to agriculture and the different stakeholders, including smallholder farmers. So that has been the main motivation for FAO to dedicate a private sector dialogue uh, to the topic of rural and agricultural finance and investment. One of the highlights of our discussions came across when we realized that many of the investments that are taking place in agriculture um, are characterized by having uh, a long-term uh, vision and engagement. Agriculture comes out as a sector where you need to have a long-term strategy um, to start servicing it as a financial institution. Therefore, um, it is very important for banks and equity investment firms interested in, in going into the, uh, in the rural areas and, and servicing, let's say, smaller agribusiness actors and smallholder farmers to really have a long-term strategy um, because uh, agriculture is, is cyclical and very seasonal and um, you, you cannot withdraw from um, a one bad season. Um, you, you have to continue uh, over the long term where private actors are showing that if you have that long-term approach, agriculture is a sector that, is, uh, that has a, a lot of uh, profitability potential. So one of the, the, um, the biggest cons constraints that we uh, discussed exten extensively was the limited um, uh, long-term finance for capital investment, especially in uh, um, uh, post-harvest processing. Uh, without the investment, um, the, the, the developing countries have limited opportunity in terms of the economic diversification and the creation of the job opportunities. So um, there's a consensus among private sector participants that uh, capacity development and technical assistance services are the, the, among the most um, effective tools that FAO has in order to uh, promote inclusive and sustainable investment. FAO has uh, a big role to play to facilitate this process of uh, the financial sector being more present in rural areas and more inclusive of the smaller uh, stakeholders. Um, this should be done through many means, not only allowing the stakeholders to meet and exchange information and knowledge, but also to facilitate governmental policies that um, create a, a more enabling environment for agriculture and also for the financial sector. FAO believes that no actor working alone can address these issues on their own. So partnerships are a, a fundamental um, um, a tool that the organization then brings to bear on the uh, the work that it, 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 it intends to do in contributing to achieving these uh, strategic uh, uh, sustainable uh, development uh, goals.